Well, here we go. At the hostel. And um, it's not too bad, actually. I mean, there's fucking no one here. So I got the dorm, five bucks a night. Frankie gets to sleep for free. I said I wasn't paying an extra for Frankie. There he is. I was looking at those little houses, but they're fucking 44 bucks a night. I'm like, 44 bucks a night? For that price, I want to shout to in a rub down. This is Pablo, man. Pablo's the owner. And Pablo spent six years in, in Australia. So finally, he's got... Finally, exactly. Finally, he's got someone giving him some shit. Man, Pablo, the owner, is an absolute dude. So this is going to be cool. So I'm going to stay for a week. I'm, I'm happy. He thought I was just going to stay for a night. I'm like, no, nah, man, I'm, I'm chilled. $5 a night. Got my own dorm. Frankie and I. Walking up to Monterita. It's pretty cool down here. The road from the hostel to Monterita, about two kilometers. Um, so sort of worried that I can't really leave it up to uh, Joffrey, Jeffrey, to go and sort of work out what it needs to be done. Because if I do, things seem to time seems to get away from people very fast in this part of the world. Uh, the good thing is that the parts are available uh, here. There's a guy, there's a guy in Guayaquil. I spoke to Joffrey this morning, he hasn't picked up any of my messages. I guess he lives in that little town for a reason. We're going to check out some dive schools this morning, get some food. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is a real surf spot as well, and scuba diving and basically anything with water. Yesterday I had a migraine. Yeah, how are you? Hola, que And uh, I get them maybe once or twice a year. Uh, Normally it's with stress, the thing is I don't feel very stressed. And sure enough, Anyway, Frankie started was... kicking off at 5.30 as he does. <sighs> Yesterday was as close as he's, as he's come, to, I think, to death. Certainly by my hand. No. I think he took it for me because I couldn't cope. <laughs> my, my daughter used to have reflux and uh, her mother had a hard time coping with it. So I'd always be, I was the only person in the whole world who could calm my daughter down, which is ironic, isn't it? This fish here, it's called Ensabollado. What is it? Ensabollado. This is a typical, it's common and typical, no? This is, um, this is a typical dish from Ecuador. Oh, oh. So it's uh, fish soup, basically. Uh, with potato, como? Ah, bacon. Um, and it's got a sort of like, what's well, a stock, really? Mmm. Oh, yeah. And inside is fish. Uh, and I don't know what's sort of hanging out at the bottom, but we'll find out pretty soon. And then what you do is you put lots of uh, lime juice in it. Fantastic. Christian, and Christian owns a dive school down, what's the name of the dive school? Where is it? Yeah, uh, uh, Surf Day. Surf Day. There we go, we're sticky here. Coming to, Mon to uh, Montanita. Come to Montanita, surf and dive. Anyway, man, he's gonna get me all sorted out. Look at that fucking, look at those guns. <laughs> man, cool guys. What I was gonna say, uh, you know, I have been umming and ahhing about a tattoo for a long time. Uh, I don't have any tattoos, and I haven't been to jail. There are probably two things life experiences I haven't done yet. I've done just about everything else. Good or bad, makes me who I am. But I've been thinking about a tattoo recently. Which I've been thinking about a long time, but obviously tattoos, I mean, you know, I've seen some awful tattoos, and I said, reason is a lifetime, and no one's promised tomorrow. Those two sayings, they, they are so pertinent to who I am, and they sort of govern a lot about what I'm about. But they're the two things I have in my body. I mean, you wouldn't see me with a fucking massive set of angel wings and shit like that with my kids names on the back I wouldn't I won't do that if I was gonna put my kids names on my body I'd have them just under my arm just there on the inside of my arm next to my heart because I'd be doing that for me and when I was a kid anyone with a tattoo was either a criminal or fucking or a biker or something but now you know having a full sleeve for me that ain't my bag the good thing about my age though is all the skins already started to sag so anything on my body is still gonna look fresh Mike's wife had a tattoo 
She got, she got it done. It was a seahorse. By the time I left it, it looked like fucking Moby Dick. Yeah. So it's, all, it's almost like he's got an idea. Okay, here we go. Now, Frankie. This is Frankie's moment. This is where we're going to see if Frankie can go swimming. Yeah. Obviously, I'll be there to support him. You can see the similarities between me and David Hasselhoff. Uh, we're taking those stairs. Might be easier. Sort of, well, he's got to get a notion that something's about to happen. But, you know, I'm not going to let him, you know, leave him to drown. Now, that's right. Daddy's got you. Okay, Frankie, let's see how you go. Yeah, that way. That's it. Well, okay. It's waking up. Actually, not that early, about 7.30, but... I had a couple of piscos last night. Normally, if I'm going diving, I don't... I don't drink anything for 24 hours before. Keep going. Anyway, I mean, it's, it's very it overcast us. today. It's still raining. <laughs> when I left the mechanic, I said to him, mate, you know, does anyone take my whole backpack with all my heavy shit like you know jackets and whatever i said to him what's the weather like he said it never rains it's always hot it's been raining since i got here Bombers, this is my crew in montanita <laughs> this is mario and this is don gato what's your name bro Conrad. okay i can't even pronounce that okay, okay, yeah, my name is matt matthew Matt, Matt hi michael michael damien and these guys are all from yeah. Poland, man. So I fucking love the Poles. They're great. Good people. I'm glad they're not Russian. Matt, and Matt, what's your business called? I am hand-to-hand combat instructor. Hand-to-hand combat instructor. So we're going to arm wrestle later on. Yeah, well, it's not pretty big, actually. It's Polish, yeah, so maybe. It's Polish, so it's pretty fucking strong. This is the crew. This is Marcelo. This is the boys. Come on, Diana. Come on, Diana. Come on, Diana. Come on, Diana. Big Victor. Victor, all right, man. These are the guys. Don't get that over here, Mario. Oh, what's it, Michael? I still can't say your name, man, but that's cool. <laughs> Damien. Oh, yeah. This is a good crew, man. This is a good crew. Don't know. Why not? Dive instructor Victor. This boat. And there is the smelly sea lions. got back from uh, the first day's diving i mean you know i i need the thing is i need to do 13 more dives to get to 50 dives so i can go on the on a liverboard boat in the galapagos because uh, she helps us have a bit of experience because the currents are really strong and you know they just don't want people panicking it's not it's not like a sort of the, where there's tons of dive instructors you know for for every um every diver the people going on, the, on these liverboards tend to be more experienced divers uh, that's great but today i mean the conditions were great. It was a bit like diving into fucking mud. Hungry and tired, so it's been a long day. It seemed like good thing is that Ingi's got Frankie, so I don't have to listen to him chirping, you know, for the next fucking five hours. This guy is a legend. So he's just um, he was taking me out to get the car. We're going to take it to the mechanic. Check it out, man. You can tell what Mario does. Mario's going to be very kind of him to do this because it's it's you know it's fucking seventy kilometres there, 70, 80 kilometres back. It's a long way. So guys, it's Mario. Uh, Here's, my, my, here's my engine. There's one and a half. There's, there's my new block. There's the old block. I mean, anyway. it's not uh, it's not a disaster. I've got all piece. I said two pieces and some new seals and some some uh, bonding cement, uh, torsion bars, which would be the workshop, and the thing will be rebuilt. I think two or three days. Very unique most. experience down here, though. There we go. There she is. It's a good thing I carry a tow rope. Kilometers to get to Santa Elena. The mechanic knows we're coming. Um, he'll have a look at the parts, confirm they've got the right parts, and then off we go. There's no power, there's clearly no engine, there's no clutch, there's a little bit of braking. But, um, it, I mean, it's such, a, it's such a strange vibe being towed in this car. Obviously, it's the quietest it's ever been. Uh, and it probably get faster. In fact, the last time, the fastest the combi ever went was when it was being towed in Mendoza, because it was doing 110 kilometers out. I had fucking 40 kilometers an hour more than it goes with 10. Cool of Mario to do this for me. Uh, I mean, admittedly, I put some petrol in his car, but that's not a drama for me. But he's made the calls and stuff. I mean, you know, Ecuadorians are very kind people. Uh, and I've said this already before, but, um, you know, these sort of acts of human kindness where people will take the time out of their day to help you out, um, that for me is true kindness. It's far more sincere than throwing some money to someone, right? Oh, the good thing is, because I know so much about the combi now with the mechanics, is that no, no mechanic will be able to sort of pull the wool over my eyes. No, and if I have any concerns about what he's saying, I'd be like, right, speak to Horacio, and Horacio will fucking tell him straight out. Okay, bueno.
Está bien, está bien. Okay. Now we're going to the highway. Uh, Mario, man. Anyway, so we, we got to get to Santa Elena. Uh, he's such a cool guy. So um, he lives in the next town up called Olon. And Olon is a real mecca for surfing. I mean, you know, him and Gato and, and Christian from the surf shop, they're cool guys. You know, all in their mid 30s. So, you know, they're not kids. They like to party and have a good time. So, clear out my Straza. <laughs> Obviously the place, there's a lot of beetles there. A lot of beetles. It's more like a combi wreckers. I'm having flashbacks from Mendoza at the combi graveyard. I'm trying to work out where we can actually work because there's so much shit everywhere. Hola, que tal? Here we go, these are the mechanics. <laughs> Adrian, and this is... Olher. Olher. Olher, like Olga. Olga. Okay, and check this out, this is, this is where I am. I'll be with you. Right. I'm in the right place. They've just spoken to Hori. Everything's going to be okay. Much, thank you much for your confidence. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, don't, yeah cut the, okay. don't cut the roof off mine yet, man. <laughs> okay. Let's hope my combi doesn't end up looking like this. Holy fuck. There's a combi under this... Uh, under here somewhere. A safari jeep. Jesus. Okay. Good thing is, I'm gonna get a couple of bits I need on the combi anyway, so this is good. We had a successful day and I couldn't have done it without this fucking guy, man. <laughs> Let's I mean, see more. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go take uh, Mario out for lunch, but we found these guys, great mechanics. By Saturday, but he said by, by Monday. By Monday, the engine will be rebuilt. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's a massive relief. And these guys are combi specialists. Uh, so I don't feel like I need to work with them. In fact, they were a bit, resu bit reluctant for that. But we are putting in a couple of upgraded parts, which will give me a little bit more oil pressure and stuff. So slightly more expensive than I wanted to spend, but it is what it is. Uh, but thank God I got that block. Without that block, I would have been in a lot of trouble. Mario, yeah, thank you, bro. You're a yeah. fucking legend. It's awesome. I forgot. Man, this is why I hang out with local people. Check this out. This is... It's a viado. But this is a local place, man. And the thing is, if you don't hang out with local people, you don't fucking, you don't get these experiences, right? You don't, you don't bring those yeah. look. This is the real deal. Oh, what's up? It's the donut chips. Pop Rachel, mi amigo.